it's Patrick Hutzel from intensivecarehotline.com with another quick tip for families in intensive care. So today I was talking to a client who has their two and a half year old baby in ICU after a heart transplant that happened uh, two and a half months ago. Everything seemed to work well for the first month and then the baby ended up in lung failure and had to be placed on ECMO for lung failure. And the intensive care team is telling this young mother that um, they don't know what's wrong with the lungs. And I said, look, um, that's very unusual. You, you know, she said that the chest X-ray is completely white, which suggests, you know, there might be ARDS. But I said to her, we can't really help her without looking at medical records and it would all be um, documented in medical records, you know. And again, this is another a sign why you know you as a family you always need to ask for access to medical records as quickly as possible so you can stop speculating because you know there's a lot of speculation without looking at the medical records um you know all the answers will be there so you know we can really only help families and they can help themselves by looking at medical records you know because it should all be documented there so my tip again is that you as a family need to get access to the medical records really day one so that there's no secrecy, that there's full transparency in the treatment process. And especially when it comes to children, you know, the uh, emotions are even higher and you don't want to uh, walk in the dark. You know, you want answers as quickly as possible. So my advice to this lady was to get access to the medical records and then we can help her from there. We can also talk to doctors directly and ask questions. We have a series of questions to ask when it comes to ECMO, but we have a series of questions to ask for any intensive care patient. You know, the biggest challenge for families in intensive care is simply that they don't know what they don't know. They don't know what to look for. They don't know what questions to ask. They don't know their rights and they don't know how to manage doctors and nurses in intensive care. And that's once again, exactly what we're dealing with here, that, you know, this young lady doesn't know what to look for, doesn't even know what questions to ask. And it's rather simple, get access to the medical records uh, so that there's no nothing to hide, full transparency um, and go from there. Because the other thing that this lady said is, you know, the ICU team is telling her that they should stop ECMO because treatment for her two and a half year old son might be quote unquote futile you know and you know the the this family is by no means ready to give up and they want to try everything that's possible for their two and a half year old baby boy so that is my quick tip for today stop speculating we are not in the business of speculating we are in the business of uh, uh, evaluating evidence medical evidence and that's in medical records or by talking to health professionals directly. That's my quick tip for today. If you have a loved one in intensive care, go to intensivecarehotline.com, call us on one of the numbers on the top of our website, or simply send us an email to support at intensivecarehotline.com with your questions. Also, have a look at our membership for families in intensive care at intensivecaresupport.org. There you have access to me and my team 24 hours a day and we answer all questions intensive care related there. Also, if you need a medical record review, please contact us as well. Uh, we review medical records in ICU, in pediatric ICU in real time. And we also review medical records after intensive care, especially if you are suspecting medical negligence or, or if you simply need closure and get questions answered. Um, in this day and age, you should get access to medical records online. Most hospitals have electronic medical records nowadays. They should be able to just send you a link to a website with a username and a password, and you should have access to the medical records, assuming you are the power of attorney or next of kin. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for regular updates for families in intensive care. Share the video with your friends and families. Click the like button, click the notification bell, and comment below what you want to see next or what questions and insights you have from this video. Thanks for watching. This is Patrick Hutzel from intensivecarehotline.com and I'll talk to you in a few days.